Well, hi, it's afternoon on a Tuesday. I posted some photos of uh, some delivery whips and some gig or, and a gig whip. This is a breaking in gig whip. Um, you've got to be able to use this in the gig so that when you throw the whip out, it'll touch the horse on the shoulder, but it's imperative that the, the whip runs out. It can't just flow out there useless. It's got to really run out properly. Um, this is built on the uh, on the design of the uh, Cobb Co coach whips. Pretty well the same as uh, one of those. I was lucky enough to see a thong years ago. Um, and it's got to be able to run out and crack. Um, and again, it's got to be able to touch those leaders. So the other whips that I've got here, These are just two little delivery whips that I made yesterday afternoon. Um, the gig whip and these two whips have got to go to a lady uh, who's bought a lot of whips off. These have got to be long enough, and they're part of your accoutrement in your classes. These have got to be long enough just to be able to hit the horse again on the shoulder. You never ever hit a horse behind the saddle. If you hit a horse behind the saddle, cart saddle or gig saddle, they're liable to, to uh, kick up. In a show ring, uh, it's not really imperative that you um, pull your whip out or drive with one with your whip in one hand. It's, I've never done it. Uh, I've never was asked to do it, but if you've got to do that, certainly hold your thong in your hand like that and drive in a normal fashion. These you can see I'm six foot five, and you can see these whips are got to be made to a specific length. Well, the only other thing I want to show you just briefly, excuse my back, is the stallion cane that I made the other day. And one of the things that it's a, it's a thing. This is a 12 strand stallion cane. One of the things that you've got to do, in my opinion, when you're showing these big horses. Carry this under your arm. Don't get going out into the arena and trotting your horse and swinging this backwards and forwards. It takes away from the picture you're trying to paint with your horse. This is little Archie Farchie. He's a my little dog. Um, and what happens too is that that's going back there and the horse may well be able to see that out of the corner of his eye and he gets worried about it. So, what I suggest you do, and I don't for one minute tell you to do it, what I suggest you do is carry that under your arm, like that. You can leave your horse and run out. If the judge, when you get to the end of your run, and the judge wants you to turn around, just take the whip out from under your arm, hold it up against the horse's nose, and, and guide him round. When you're finished, pull it back under your wing. Don't get carrying it like that. It just Looks, it just looks bad and unprofessional. Go out, bloody dog. Go out of it. It looks bad and unprofessional. Now carry it like that. When you get run out with your judge and you give him a really good big look at your horse, really wide, just don't go out there like a soldier and turn around and come back. Full body shot of your horse as you go out and hold this up against his nose just to steady. Put it back under your wing. You've got total control. You can hold it under there. Um, this is a little 12 frame one. I've got to make another one of these um, today or tomorrow. I'm just at the moment plaiting some uh, green height whips. Um, but I wanted just to show you that. I posted a photo of these whips earlier. But I just wanted to show you that. I don't want to... Uh, I just want to point out what they are. Okay, so listen, have a great day. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it.